Grow My Cleaning Company teaches owners of cleaning companies just like you how to grow your company, make more money, and finally take charge of your financial future and your life. This podcast is about automating and creating systems that give you time and money freedom so you can grow like crazy without losing control. Since this is totally free, if you're getting tons of value, want to support us and make sure that you get more of the good stuff, subscribe, rate, and review to this podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hey, Cleaning Nation, so good to be with you again. Today, we are going to talk about um, something simple, something easy, um, something important that I think everyone's into. We are going to talk about how to get all the cleaning clients you want. Um, Sounds simple. It's one of those things that uh, we can get in a little bit, but it takes forever to get down. So let's jump in. Um, So first of all, just so you guys know, I started out in every business with no idea how to get customers. Hey, Jeremy, good to have you, man. Um, I did Cecilia in the house. Yay. I think I get to see you soon in, uh, in our elite call. Um, you know, I would just, if, if tell me and feel free to share in the chat, if any of you guys have like felt this way or done this, where you just do a crap ton of work and customers would trickle in, but you had no idea, um, what worked and what didn't work. Um, sometimes you get customers, sometimes you wouldn't. And you just, we like don't know how to do it again, right? You're like, I got that guy, but he came from here, but nothing scalable or repeatable or dependable. Hey, Shelly Brock from Shelly's Unlimited in Ohio. Good to have you. Um, so I knew that I needed to be able to get customers to grow with the, hit the goals that I wanted. I just didn't know how. And I knew I could do the work, right? If I could just get the customers to choose me, I knew I could explode, but I didn't know how to get them to come. Oh, by the way, speaking of getting customers, um, we are, we have launched grow my service company. Um, it is for all service companies. So it's not super, Hey, Luciana, good to see you sister. It's not as targeted as this, right? So for all you owners of cleaning companies, this is the place to be. All we do is talk about how to grow your cleaning company day in, day out. But if you have friends, pool cleaners, electricians, HVAC plumbing, anyone that goes somewhere and provides a service, we just started grow my service company. Um, and we just launched the podcast. So hook a brother or sister up with, uh, a referral of someone, uh, you know, a lot of times people in, in cleaning nation don't refer because they're like, Oh, I don't want anyone to kind of know our secrets from the cleaning business. Well, here's your opportunity. You don't have to refer your cleaning friends. Although I still think you should. Um, but you can refer all of your service business owners, landscapers and pool cleaners and snow removal folks, all that stuff. All right. Um, so let's jump in with, and Shelly says, when are you going to talk about finding great employees that just started once and already missed two days? First of all, if they just started and already missed two days. They're out. You got to fire them. Uh, second of all, we will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we get, uh, we try and do how to get and keep the right employees at least uh, a couple times a month. So that's on the list. I promise. All right. So if you were like me, you knew you needed to get customers. You knew if you just kind of did a bunch of calls and like hustled, you'd figure something out, but nothing that you could scale or be like, I'm going to push this button or spend this money and get all the customers that I need. Right. Um, and for me to be the big successful businessman that I desperately wanted to be, not just like in in my client's eyes or my family's eyes, but my eyes, I knew that I had to figure out this marketing thing. Right. And I just, I could never do it. I threw in the, here's, and again, feel please in the, in the chat, tell me if this is just, I'm the only knucklehead out there. If you guys kind of went through some of the same stuff, I, you know, I threw money at it. Right. I'm one of these guys. that's like, I feel like if you have, if you have a problem that requires money and you have money, well, then you ain't got a problem. Right. So I, you know, money mailers, radio ads, SEO, PR, you know, uh, public relations, websites, and, and please don't hear me knocking any of those things or saying any of those things are right or wrong, but just throwing money at them without really understanding how marketing worked and how client attraction systems work. That was the killer, right? Because everybody wants to kind of sell you on their thing. So we put a bunch of money and it doesn't work. And then we get like disillusioned until the next guy sells us on their thing. And then we get excited. Like we're always hoping it's the next guy or the next gal's thing. Um, so what happens is for me and you guys, again, in the chat, let me know for those of you that are joining me live that Chris is like, Oh yeah. Um, it created a sneaking suspicion that none of it really worked right at the end of the day, it just comes down to kind of being lucky and maybe being cheap or the better price or just being the right spot, at the right time. All of it was super discouraging. So this Carolina says, yup. And thank you guys. I love knowing if we're kind of, okay, I'm starting to get the thumbs up in the hearts. All right. We are, <laughs> we are hitting you guys where, where you live, which is great because I promise we're going to talk about how to do this the right way. Um, but yeah, it was really a bummer because I was, I had these two 
fighting and competing feelings that were killing me. One was, I don't think there's really a way to get clients that's scalable and repeatable and dependable, like all I want and every, but I know I need to be able to do that to grow. So it was just like, I guess I'm stuck. Right. It was super frustrating. Um, cause the other thing is, even if I could find some, which I never did, I'm still putting the keys to my growth in some other company, some outside force. And they let me down every time, right? Because most of the time, either they're super affordable, like, hey, I'll do your SEO for 500 bucks a month. And I can afford that. But nothing happened, right? Or the guys and gals that really know how to get clients, they know they know how to get clients and they, they take a lot of money, right? So it just drove me nuts because I knew if I could just fix this one thing, I could have all the growth that I wanted, right? If you guys tell me, but I always knew I could get the work done. I could manage the money. I could lead my team. It was just the getting clients that I felt was holding me back. And it was so frustrating because I kept spending money on things that didn't work. And the people that could do it, like the gurus or whatever, just seemed like wizards, right? Like they couldn't do it in my market or I could never do that. And it just drove me nuts. Um, Brad's here from Ontario, Canada. Denise says, no, we have to spend the money, but not, um, not an answer in one place for sure. And then Bertha's here from Dallas. Good to see y'all. Um, so Shelly says, I get what you're talking about. I'm stuck. That's my problem. So frustrated. All right, we're going to sort you out, Shelly, um, along with the rest of Cleaning Nation here. So we're going to talk about what to do. But before we do, as usual, the thing that really kept me from success was my belief that it was luck or that it was magic or couldn't work in my area or my business, right? So the regardless of what the reality is, what could happen, as long as I had those beliefs that everyone else out there is just faking it or somehow lucky or just whatever, that was killing me, right? And honestly, if I had to be completely honest and open with y'all, the worst secret belief was I believed I couldn't do it, right? So it wasn't that it couldn't be done. It was like that magic skill can't be transferred to me. Um, I wasn't born with the magic, right? That one limiting belief that I couldn't just sort this thing out, it cost me millions, not just in revenue for my companies that I could have had and profit that would have come from that revenue. But we sold our last two businesses for seven figures. So, you know, no complaints, but I think we could have sold for a lot more if I just would have solved that one problem. So this is literally, or for me has been, you guys can tell me your experience in the chat. This has been a, a multi-million dollar problem, right? Uh, Keisha says, hello from uh, hello cleaning nation from uh, your clean team, Chicago. Good to see you Chicago or uh, Keisha. Hopefully things are opening up sooner than later out there in Chicago. Um, so yeah, anyway, it cost me millions and because I couldn't figure it out and I had this yucky belief that other people might be able to do it, but I could never do it. I literally spent decades focusing, well, maybe if I provide better service, which is great. Or maybe if I become a better leader, which is a good skill to have. Maybe if I get better at finance, I just really work the money better. And those are all fine things. But the reality is I was hiding from the fact that if you don't have, or I didn't have repeatable, scalable, dependable ways to get more qualified leads than I needed to hit my goals, I was not going to hit my goals, right? I just, I wanted to kind of get around that thing. Well, what if I did this? Or what if I do, you know, I'm bargaining with the universe. Like, well, okay, may, I, I can't figure out the sales thing, but maybe if I get to become a better leader, maybe if I get to do this, maybe I get to do that. And those are all helpful. But at the end of the day, until if you've got goals to be more than, gosh, for a commercial uh, or for a residential cleaning company, more than like, three, 400,000. And for a commercial cleaning company, unless you have some really big accounts, a couple million bucks, at some point, if you want to get bigger than that, you're going to have to learn how to get scalable, repeatable, dependable clients. So when I sold my fir first brick and mortar business, um, that's when I, I really wanted to help other people grow. Cause I, I had learned a lot about finance and employees and leadership and working less and, and, and getting more done and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, but I'm like, if I'm going to do this, I, I really got to figure out this, how to get clients thing. Right. And, um, I don't want to start another brick and mortar business. So I'm like, I'll figure out this online marketing thing. Cool thing is the online marketing thing is really just marketing, right? <laughs> this stuff that works online works offline. Um, and I invested in a ton of cool mentors. I, you know, I used to tell people I've got over a hundred thousand dollars in my education and I didn't go to college. And that's true. My wife heard it. She's like, are you out of your damn mind? You've got over a quarter million dollars, probably more than that by now in your education. Um, and you didn't go to college. So definitely spent lots and lots of money and time figuring, trying to figure this stuff out from the gurus, the wizards. Right. And I think the biggest shift I got, um, or the earliest shift that was really helpful that got me out was from Russell Brunson. Um, I think, I don't know if, I don't know if you put pictures in the chat, but if Lindsay, if you put a picture, that picture I sent of me and him up there in the chat, that'd be great. If not, we'll just put it with the episode, but he helped me move from 
this like media based fervor, like, well, if I just, you know, Facebook will say, if you just learn how to do Facebook ads, then you'll be rich. And Google back in the day, and probably still, if you just do Google ads, you'll be rich. And I remember Money Mailer and all the people selling all their, their different stuff would say, if you just learn how to do this, you'll be rich. Um, he helped me move from that into going from, well, that was a big thing, moving from that into a funnel that, you know, he owns a company called Click Funnels um, that would actually, as opposed to just putting an ad out there, right? So, you know, money mailers tell you, oh, you just got to put an ad on money mailer. Facebook would just say, hey, Facebook, or, you know, whoever's selling whatever media they're doing, you just say, if you just put the money in, in our thing, you'll make money. But the, the problem is the ads that we put, they don't really help you with the ads or the funnel, or how to actually convert an ad to a client. So we just put out an ad that says, hey, I'm Mike with Mike's Coaching, buy my crap. Or I'm Keisha with um, your Clean Team Chicago. Buy, you know, call now for a free estimate, right? And we put that out and it doesn't work. And then we get disenfranchised or disenchanted and go, oh, I got screwed, right? You know, like Facebook doesn't work or Google AdWords doesn't work or, or direct mail doesn't work or radio ads or whatever, you know, fill in the blank. It doesn't work because we put out an ad that said, hey, I'm this person from this company. Call me and buy my stuff. And then people don't do it. And um, we think that thing doesn't work. The problem is, and again, I'm just going to be completely honest here, and you guys can put me in the chat or give me the thumbs up or the thumbs down or whatever, whatever cool things you guys have out there. Tell me if I'm, if, if any of you feel this way. The problem is I would rarely track exactly who called or how much they spent. So it always felt like I kind of got something, like I do a bunch of different advertising, spend a bunch of money. And depending on the thing, some would be like, oh, that wasn't bad. I got some work. And others like, oh, I don't think I got so much work. And others would just be crickets or nothing. But I never really felt like I was making money or I found the one thing like, wow, I could just scale this up and get all the clients I want. Right. And so that was because I was doing a buy this thing model as opposed to, uh, yeah, birth is like, I was frustrated with home advisor thumbtack. Cause that's another model of you just put out an ad like, Hey, you know, buy my crap. And then you get a chance to bid amongst other people, which, which sucks. So the trick, and if you're paying attention, wanting to write stuff down, here's where we go. We don't want to pay people, just say, call now for a free estimate. It doesn't work. It doesn't matter if it's Thumbtack or Facebook or whatever. It's the model that you're using is broken, not the media. So we've got to understand and move to a funnel. And instead of asking for the sale right away and hearing just, A, we got to track. B, we got to, so when we're like, oh, I got nothing. Was it really nothing? Was it one client? Was it two clients? So we got to start tracking and we've got to move to a funnel where we break down the process of buying, right? It's too big of a jump, right? You go from, hey, stranger, you don't know me, I don't know you, but stop what you're doing and call me to for a free estimate, which is a, an hour-long sales call in your house or your business. No one's gonna do that, right? Even if you get a 1,000 or 10,000 or 100,000 impressions, even if it's to the right people, which typically it's not, that's just too big of an ask, right? So we've gotta figure out a way to break down that one big ask into lots of little asks, and we take them down a funnel, right? So instead of going buy my crap now, that's all about me and what I want. But the people that you're, you're advertising to, they don't give them two craps about you or what you want. They care about what they want, right? We've got to move to get people to raise their hand um, by offering them a solution to their problem or offering them value, right? So as opposed to going to, uh, hey, I want this thing from you, give it. We move to, hey, how can I serve you? Hint, that's what I'm doing right here, right? What I'd like to do is, hey, everybody, all you people that are bad clients for me, leave me alone and never come again. All the people to be amazing clients that we could change your life, call in right now so we can sign you up immediately, right? That would be my ideal, <laughs> but it doesn't work, right? Um, so what we do instead is we give lots and lots of value and we do it on a consistent basis and we, we give little tiny steps. And I'm gonna give you an example at the end of a little tiny step that you can take that's a pretty daggum good deal. You're like, well, I'd have to be an idiot not to take that. And a lot of you are gonna take it. You go, ah, look what happened here. You know, hint, it's, I'm not gonna ask you for any money, it's free. Uh, just like this is free, right? So we want to give lots of free value and different ways to give free value. Once we give enough value to the community, people start getting value and going, wow, if this is what it's like um, working with this person or being in this person's universe, and I'm not even a customer, imagine if I gave him or her money, right? Well, imagine if I actually paid them to clean my house or my business, how much better would it be, right? So we got to move from asking people to buy to giving value. And once you do that enough, we'll get um, more people coming to us than we can handle. Hello, Angelina, uh, good to have you. So the first thing we're going to do is change our thinking. And the second thing we're going to change our doing. So let's talk about what both of those are. Changes in thinking. Stop thinking of getting clients as luck of the draw and start realizing it's a systematic, it, it can be and is 
a systematized process and you can repeat it and scale and do it over and over. So the first thing you got to believe is this is possible, right? If you're like, it's just lucky. They can't do it in my market. Only Mike or only Goovers, only other people can do it. We're stuck. So we got to kill that debt. Second is stop thinking of if they don't buy now, my marketing failed, right? This podcast, um, through the YouTube downloads and podcasts and all that sort of stuff, um, is, has had millions of downloads, right? The first episode I did when I first did it probably had four people, <laughs> if that, right? Three of them were my mom. Um, if I would just said, well, I put out a podcast and nobody listened, this wouldn't exist. Or on the first podcast, even if I got a thousand listeners and the whole podcast was, here's why I'm a great coach and here's what you should do be, call now and give me money. No one would have done that, right? It doesn't matter. Antonio says, what about Yelp? Again, it's not about the media. It's about the value. We're not really giving value on Yelp. How can we give them value, right? Um, and the cool thing is once you start giving value, I've not gone to Yelp, but if I did, I, I've gone to YouTube and we've got, we've, we've got, I don't even care what my online thing is. Cause if you go to grow my cleaning company reviews.com, we've got over a hundred people that are like, Oh my gosh, Mike changed my life. I love it. So I don't even have to worry about Yelp. The cool thing is if you start giving value to the world, you don't have to, I mean, it'll naturally happen where you get good Google reviews and Facebook reviews and all that stuff. And I, I think we've got those, uh, plenty of them they are, you know, 90% good. And there's probably a crackpot out there. that's like, Mike's an idiot. You know, God bless them. Um, so the cool thing is, as opposed to trying to like, what about Yelp? What about all these things where they'll try and tell the world I'm great? Just go out there and give a lot of value and the world will know you're great, right? And it'll just happen magically. So uh, not magically, but it'll happen naturally is probably a better word. All right. So we've got to stop thinking about getting clients as luck of the draw. Stop thinking if they don't buy now that it failed. Not the case, right? They can raise their hand. I'm going to show you at the end of this how, how you can raise your hand and get something amazing and no one's going to buy a daggum thing. But somebody that raises their hand and gets something for free and takes advantage at some point will buy something, I promise. And right now, we just had someone enroll this morning. I don't know their story, but I'm guessing they it was value I gave a long time ago, right? So stop thinking if they don't buy now, marketing is failing. That's absolutely, that's, that's just a poor marketer. Um, we do this by tracking, right? So we track exactly how much we spend on marketing and we stop trying to outsource. Like if I just give this guy money, right? Yelp. And again, I'm not trying to pick on you, Antonio. Yelp's fine. But just a lot of people are like, well, if I just give Yelp money, then everything will be fine. But that's not the case. Or if I just give Facebook or fill in the blank. If I just give somebody money, everything will be fine. It's not the reality. So that's, those are the changes that I'm thinking we need. So here's the outline of what we actually need to change and what we do. Um, understand first and foremost, your client's lifetime value. This is the cleaning business superpower. You want, you know, let's just go residential, which is the smallest value. If you've got a resident regular every other week, uh, customer on the low side, it's going to be 250 bucks on the high side through, we'll call it on the high side, be 350. We'll call it 300 bucks a month. Um, if they just stay two and a half years, two, three years, um, that's like, a you know, every year at 250, at, at 300 bucks is 3,600 bucks. If they just stay two and a half years, it's like $10,000 client, right? So even if it costs you 500 bucks to get that client and they stay for two and a half years, $10,000 revenue, and obviously that's not all profit, but even with a half percent gross margin, that's $5,000 in, in gross profit for 500 bucks. That's a pretty daggum good return on your investment, right? Um, so we want to make sure we understand the lifetime value of our clients, um, because that recurring is a huge lever and that's not residential go with commercial. I've got a guy that just, uh, Bob and Terry just jumped in our millionaire mastermind. I think that an account was like 10 grand a month or even more. And they've had it for like 20 years, right? Single accounts on the commercial side can be worth millions of dollars. Um, so even if on a, a, a multi-million dollar account over, over the lifetime, if that costs you 10 grand to get, that's a good deal, right? So track it first, second move from chasing to attracting, right? A lot of times we want to Chase, buy now, call now for my free estimate, come here, click here, do, you know, we're, we're ch please do this, do this. You want to attract. And again, at the end, I'm going to show you exactly a perfect example of how we attract, how I'm going to attract you guys and not chase you guys. We do zero begging, right? I don't ever call anyone and be like, Hey, Bertha, give me some money, right? We just give a ton of value. And then you guys call us. So we attract as opposed to chase. Stop asking for the sale and start making offers that are just too good to be true. You want your people going, oh, I'd have to be a fool, but not to do that. There's no risk. Like it, my life can only get better, never worse. You make offers like that. It's, it's, it's hard. It's irresistible, right? They're called irresistible offers for a reason. Um, so that said, um, let me, and again, just saying, so you know, we use this as a guinea pig, all the stuff that we teach, we do. So we've kind of done this and seen stuff that worked really well, stuff that worked okay. But generally when we try to get the customers to give us value or money or do what we want, it doesn't work. We just give value and see how we can make their lives better and try and solve their, their pain for free. Things tend to work out really well. So the cool thing is when I made this 
big transition of tracking lifetime value, turning into a funnel, or as opposed to asking for the sale right away, we kind of broke it down into giving them little pieces of value piece by piece. And my first piece of value is this podcast. And I'm going to give you another at the end so you can see what that looks like. Um, it helped me all of a sudden I had more customers coming to me than I could handle as opposed to more constantly trying to chase and, and tell them to, to sign up now. We don't have them. And the cool thing is that um, gave me the confidence as an owner to grow as fast as I wanted, right? That one shift of going from buy now to a funnel from, from tracking and understanding lifetime value and to giving value as opposed to trying to get people to do stuff. Um, the problem is it's not instantly gratifying, right? If I send out a thousand messages that say buy now, maybe one guy buys now. It's not scalable, it's not repeatable. It's probably not even the best guy to buy, but we get a result today. If we just put out value for weeks or even months at a time, all of a sudden it starts slowly coming and then it becomes a tidal wave. So we kind of have to get used to that delayed gratification. It doesn't have to be years, by the way. I'm not saying you should do all this and get nothing for years, but if it takes weeks or even a couple months, that's fine, but you can scale that. Um, all right. So let me tell you how I'm going to give you a too good to be true offer. Like, oh my gosh, I'd have to take advantage of that. Um, if you'd like a copy of um, my book, I'm a freaking genius. Why is this business so hard? Right. When I sold my second seven figure deal, uh, I wrote that book, gosh, four or five years ago. Um, and it goes over all the stuff I learned, right? I mean, gosh, it, I spent hundreds of thousands, if not millions on that education, doing stuff right, doing stuff wrong. I distilled it all down into a book. You can get it on Amazon right now. I'm guessing it's probably 20 bucks. I like to give it to you for free. Um, here's how we're going to do it. Um, one, I mean, we're going to go a little bit out of the honor system here. One, uh, refer any service provider you know to our podcast, growmyservicecompany.com. They can see the podcast, join our Facebook group, all that stuff. So refer any service person you own um, and, is, and have them subscribe, rate, and review uh, the podcast. And then just direct message me on Instagram. We're uh, instagram.com forward slash growing cleaning company. So easy to find instagram.com forward slash growing cleaning company. That's me. Just direct message me the word genius. And I will make sure we get you a copy of the book. I'm a freaking genius. Why is this business so hard? So here's the irresistible offers, right? I'm doing this live right now. It looks like there's 27 people at this moment that are joining me live. So glad to have all of you guys here. Pretty good offer, right? Wow, this guy spent 20 years in, in hundreds of thousands of dollars figuring out business. He's going to tell me that for free. But obviously, we can only give so much value in 20 minutes. So, And some of you are like, man, I'd like to have more education. I go, great. Is it? And it's like, was well, he going to sell me something? Not yet. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Just direct message me uh, on Instagram, genius, and we'll get you a copy. Well, that's not true. You were going the honor system. Uh, 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 refer somebody to the Grow My Service uh, uh, Company podcast, and we'll get you all hooked up. And uh, just direct message me on Instagram, genius, and we'll get you a copy. So th what will happen then is you'll spend, I don't know how long it takes to read a book, 10, 20 hours, more. And some people go, that was great. That was what I needed, and that's fantastic. Others are going to go, wow, this guy has exactly what I need. I can't believe all he does now for the last five years is help owners of cleaning companies. I want his help. And you, and those people reach out and say, hey, help me. What, what do I do next? Right. And then guess what? There'll probably be another free thing that we offer you. Probably a consultation of, hey, how can we help and serve you? Um, so hopefully you guys are seeing we offer value over and over and over again. Um, and because I do it one to many, right, right. Like I said, there might be 20, 30 people listening right now, but thousands of people will hear this broadcast, um, over time. And some of them will come for help. You can do the exact same thing. So that's the big thing. If you want to have more customers than you ever want, uh, or can ever handle, just give value, break the, the, the buying thing into small steps, right? I mean, I think we get two or 300, uh, people wanting appointments with us for consultations a month. And I think we take 10 or 20 uh, for clients. So that's, that's all I'm saying, right? Those are the, that's it. That, those are the keys to the kingdom. You have what you need. Uh, reach out to me in the Facebook group. Uh, say, Hey, let us know how we can serve you. If you do uh, uh, direct message me at Instagram.com forward slash growing cleaning company uh, genius and get the book. Let me know how, how you love it. If you love it, do some, throw some goodwill into the world and, and give us a five-star review on Amazon. If you hate it, uh, just email me, I guess, or no, actually don't even email me. Cause I'll be sad. Email Lindsay. She'll, she'll, she'll tell you I suck. All right, guys, gals, good to hang out with you. Cleaning nation. Can't wait to talk to you again. And I'll look for you on Instagram. See you. Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you're fired up, ready to grow and want to see if you have what it takes to work with us at grow my cleaning company. Here's what I want you to do right now. Go to grow my cleaning company.com forward slash talk. That's growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk to book an appointment to speak with me personally. I'm going to jump on the phone with you to get you crystal clear on where you are now, 
where you want to be, and how to get you there. Don't walk around in the dark any longer. If you are serious about growing your cleaning company, it's time to finally get the systems in place that you need to grow. We've helped hundreds of owners of cleaning companies not only grow their business and their personal freedom, but give back to their community as well. If that's what you're looking for, head over to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk and book a time to talk with me personally. I can't wait to get to know you and your business.